हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल थिंक कंस्ट्रक्टिव सो लेट मी जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ सो आई एम एशिया एंड आई एम हैविंग ऑलमोस्ट टू डेकेड्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री कॉर्पोरेट एंड ट्रेनिंग एक्सपीरियंस टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट इंटेलिजे बेसिक्स सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो फॉर इंटेलिजे बेसिक्स and in my subsequent videos i'll be covering more details about intellij variety of features till its advanced features and what all great things we can do with the help of intellij so for today we will be covering these uh, five topics uh, mainly so we'll start with the intellij introduction then we'll talk about download and installation of intellij then we'll create a very simple basic java project using intellij tool and then we will execute that java project using two methodologies number one run tool window which is provided by intellij and then the terminal window i will be uh, showing you uh, that terminal window uh, with the help of intellij itself you can try out using a separate terminal window be it linux or command window but the method will be the same so yeah let's start with the introduction of intellij basics so uh, this tool is a very well designed and highly feature rich tool mainly this is used for the java and related framework uh, development and it is widely used in the industry for delivering a basic small uh, projects till the enterprise projects so uh, and uh, developing any java project executing it with a variety of build tools and other stuffs has become very very easy and simple with the tool just that in the beginning you need to be a bit comfortable with the tool by practicing it a lot so practice is a key everywhere whatever you want to learn you need to practice it practice it yeah so let us move uh, uh, towards the download and installation of this tool so i'll just open a uh, browser you can use the browser of any browser of your choice so for example i am using google chrome so i'll just say intellij download so as you can see the first link which is coming is downloading the intellij idea link and uh, you can notice that it is uh, the jetbrains.com so just uh, to tell you that intellij idea is developed by jetbrains uh, .com so it's their product and at the download page you can notice that this uh, tool is supported at windows mac os and linux all three platforms all three uh, majority uh, usage platforms so you might have windows machine so by default it will take you to the windows page or it's just a click away in my case it is mac os so by default i'm landing to this page and for the linux users also uh, the download is available so now at all three uh, tabs you can notice that it is giving you ultimate as well as community version so let me just quickly tell you about it so if you want to use this uh, tool for free it is available and free always in that case you are you will be downloading its community version so it says free built on open source all right and if you have enterprise usage or more very advanced feature of the tool majorly it is for web and enterprise development then in that case you can uh, take a trial of this tool and then go ahead decide and then uh, plan to purchase for your enterprise so it uh, totally depends upon your need so for now for demo purposes and even for a small to medium medium size projects we generally use community so from a long long time i am a great user for this tool community version so here is a list of a uh, feature comparison for this so if if just in case you want profiling spring http plugin 
HTTP client, such tools bundled with this. In that case, you would want to buy Ultimate Edition and that too, free trials are available. You can first try and then take your decision. Or else you can just go ahead with the Community Edition and buy, uh, sorry, download it. So yeah, so for Community, in my case, I will be downloading it from here. All right, I am not clicking on the download as it is already downloaded and installed at my machine. But yeah, from here you can download. For Windows user, you can download from here. And for Linux user, you can just download a community version from here. So once you download it, you will get its DMG or EXE file depending upon your operating system. So for Windows, you'll get EXE file and for Mac OS, you'll get DMG file. So you just need to double click the file, whichever operating system you are having, and then it will it, it will pop up an installer and the tool will be installed at your system. So for initial phases, you can just go ahead and uh, select the default settings and configuration for the tool because all settings can be changed later. So no need to worry much about that. Just go ahead with the default installation. Now, the next step is once the tool is installed. So you can see in my taskbar, IntelliJ IDEA is already there. C is community edition. So I'll just open this up. And this kind of window I would get. So now from here, I can directly decide to open a new project for IntelliJ or can open an existing one or an integration with the version control. So version control system, variety of version control systems are bundled and uh, directly supported here in the tool that we will talk about in our uh, later uh, uh, videos. For now, I will be showing you how you can just set up a new project using IntelliJ IDEA. All right, so I'll just say new project. So for new project, it is asking for project SDK. So in my case, Java 14, I've already installed. You can install any Java version, but yeah, uh, go ahead with Java 8 or above version. That will be better because those are more feature rich and widely used in the industry. So those will be better for you. So I'll go ahead with the Java 14 and then say next. So yeah, uh, so by default, uh, I have selected, I'll just go to previous window and show you that from here, you can select which build tool you want. You can just do a plain simple Java project or you want Maven build tool or a Gradle one. So variety of uh, types of project creation directly is supported from here. So for now, since it is a basic project creation video, I'll just go ahead with the Maven tool by uh, default selection with the word Java SDK, which is 14 as of now, since it is installed in my machine. So I'll go ahead and say next. So here it is asking for Maven coordinates. So artifact coordinates like by default group ID, it is showing as org.example. It's a default one. If you wish, you can choose this only and move forward. If you want, you can change it. Com dot, let's say demo. All right, and then artifact ID will be your project ID so, or project name. So what name for your project you want to give? Probably uh, the first one you can write demo project one. Okay, so version snapshot. If you uh, want, you can change the version here or you can proceed with the given one. Totally depends upon your requirement. Okay, so we'll just say finish. It is setting up a Maven Java basic project for you. It will take a while. Yeah. So you can notice here the de a demo project one is set up for you. 
you've got your source or src folder in place src main and then job okay and the coordinates or the group id what you had given com.demo artifact id as demo project 1 and version is snapshot 1.0 snapshot okay and maven compiler source 14 target 14 is selected because we selected project sdk or the java version as 14 okay so here you can see the directory structure or your project structure the default one is created you need not to worry for that that uh, intellij will do for you so it will be src main java and resources both are blank because we haven't yet created anything uh, for our project all right and then the in parallel to your main you will get your test structure again java is blank okay so here you can go inside your uh, java directory and here you can just say right click and say java class because we are doing a third step of our, of our plan which is creating a simple java project so i will just say java class whatever class name i want to give probably demo one all right yeah so this is my public class demo one is set up for me i'll just go inside this and i will say public static void main ring so our our very classic basic hello world example with public static void main in java what will i do i will just say system um train talent okay you can see it is giving you all sorts of suggestions I just say hello okay so what this uh, project will do once I will execute it all you know I have given system out print talent so it will print hello world for me okay so it's our old traditional hello world basic java program which you can see is very easy to set up in with the help of IntelliJ. So now the fourth part, what we wanted to talk about the execution using run tool window. How do I do that? I will just say run, run. Okay, what it, it is asking, it is by default picking my demo one project. And if I want or any edit, edit configuration I would want, I can do that. For now, I am just skipping that. So I will just say run demo one. So you can notice here build, parsing, scanning, and see my output window. Hello world is printed. That that's what was the expected output. All right. So this is the first way of executing executing my Java project. Now. Let us move towards the last topic for this video, which is execution using terminal window. So in IntelliJ, no matter you install it on Mac OS or Windows or Linux, wherever it is, the interface of IntelliJ would remain same as you are seeing it here. So for terminal window, you can see terminal comes bundled with this and we'll just open okay and i'm here inside the directory of demo project one so i can just show what all is here so my target is created you can notice it here also the target folder is created inside that classes and demo one so my demo one class is already there i will just go inside target classes that's it so now my demo one class is here what will i do we all know to execute any compiled java program program we have a command called java and then the class name all right no need to give dot class here so it's java demo one click enter so we can see our hello world output is printed 
all right so this was the last step for today's video so this is about intellij starting downloading installing and creating a simple basic java pro project followed by executing it okay so uh, this is all for today's lecture and uh, probably in uh, next video series i'll pick up a bit more basic features of intellij first and then uh, we'll create i uh, will provide you more content for advanced features of intellij okay so yeah these five topics we have covered today so thank you very much for watching my channel if you like it please give me a thumbs up that will give me a lot of encouragement to create more videos for you thank you so much for watching think constructive that's all for today bye guys